Hello everybody, welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I'd like to show you another SketchUp done with done by me. This one is the reason why I say not house videos, just because I mean this actually isn't a house, it's a barn. A dairy barn. Well then I guess you could call it a house for cattle, but um Yeah. Maybe not. Alright, let's have a look around at this dairy barn. As you can see, um one thing to note, notice how some barns have these um, turban fence on top. Uh, this is to model model sort of an old, old barn kind of thing, a hundred year barn. Because as you can see, these vents are here by the windows. Vents here. What they're actually designed for are cross drafts to go through the barn. Supposedly it worked. Alright, but that's irrelevant for now. What we want to talk about is actually the barn itself. It's on a stone foundation. And it's basically your wooden, red wooden siding nailed directly to a frame. Cedar shingles. As you can see, just paint the painted wood effect. Which I liked a lot. Alright, so let's see what you see here. I mean... These are obviously your um, alley. Um, these are your alleys. This is your central walk, central um, driveway. What you call it? Not quite. Another central door. Because what the barn is divided like sort of in a cross. I will go inside in just a minute. Upstairs would just be your bit. This whole area upstairs is the hayloft. Um, up here is just a door where a ladder can go up to. Up here is actually where you would put the hay bales in because when you stack up the hay bales, you know, you can't keep putting them up through this door. You have to actually go up and take them up. So then you can pile them high. That's why these are here. And as you can see, they're on both sides, and the hayloft has been divided into two. Which now, um, people are always wondering what it's like to go inside a barn. This barn actually has windows, um, working windows, double hung. And as you can see, now we're inside. This is basically what the inside of the structure kind of looks like, but um, outside... As you can see, these runners. But anyway. You can see the entire structure of the barn from the inside. As you can see how it works with the foundation. Now what you see are cattle, are cattle stalls. See here, a typical cattle stall. Let's, what, am I, what do I take off the loft layer? so we can get a better look at the inside alright so as you know here this is the layout of it here are the central walkways here are the tending, how you tend the cattle scrape alley where all the unwanted stuff goes into cow stands here gets tied up gets its neck tied here. Here's its feeding trough. As you can see. Concrete floor. And as you can see the interior is unpainted. It's basically just rich wood. And as you can see the siding, right? This is the interior of the siding. It's been nailed directly to the frame. These are just the windows. And despite and besides the vents, these windows can open, so you get a lot of air flow coming in through all sorts, all different directions. Which is wonderful for the barn. Now let's go up to the hayloft. Well actually I didn't actually have it. And as you also notice from the outside that the roof is called Gambrel, it's a self-supporting roof. And this is why. 
look at how the beams work, and this is how a real gambrel roof is. Um, this is how the beams really look. And if you're wondering about this, you can see they interlock with one another. And you know, to make it more interesting, I'll show you something really cool. I'll use the section tool. Tools, section plane, and you click on the surface you want to section. Hide. Now, this is the perfect tool for this kind of thing. Shows you exactly how this works. But I mean, it, um, it really shows you. Wait, wait, come on. Cool. Sometimes I forget what view it's on. And I go to camera, parallel projection. And this is how you can make sectional drawings in SketchUp. Darn it. I have to be careful though when I pan and zoom. But don't you see, um, that's how, um, see here, these go down, these go down into the ground, and this beam pushes down on this, and this beam pushes on that, and pushes down on this. So then, to be a self-supporting beam, you can actually have a lot more up here, a lot more stuff up here. The hay can pile up really, really high up here. As you can see here is where you drop the hay down. And that's what that door is for. And that actually wasn't a very the most awesome view because um This is probably a better one. But I mean, it's just fun to play with. Cause you know what I mean? And you can even see the structure, see how all the barn is put together. But I mean, it's just, an, it's just a marvel to kind of see. And that's why I made this model. Um, is because um, I actually, it has a reflection on, a self-reflection on me. I actually made I actually lived in Kansas for a while. And most really most of my mom's side of the family lives in Kansas. A few live in Missouri. Um a number of us had barns. We had a barn. Of course it got torn down though. Um my grandma had a barn. My uncle Al had a barn. And I know one of my aunts had a barn. But um well, I know we didn't actually have a barn, anything really quite like this, but um, we lived near a lot of these, a lot of, uh, and they're also commercial farms. I mean, basically, I, um, this actually looks more like a commercial um, cow ranch, if you if you know what I mean. Than anything else, looks more commercial, especially if you're gonna have one, two, three, four. 20, 28 cow stalls. I mean, what private farmer has all of that, right? Maybe. I don't know, but... Anyway. Yeah, that's how life was in northern Kansas. And that's just a little more of a tidbit on me. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you take the value of this. If you liked it, please rate, comment, subscribe. Really much appreciate it. And there will be lots more to come your way. Alright, thank you. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Alright, bye-bye.